see that red leaf vegetable? That is uh, Xiangchun, the uh, Chinese tune. Some people call this the uh, local durian. Fengmen Hengjie Wet Market is the place to go in Suzhou if you want to understand what we Chinese call yan bo qi, literally smoke and fire, referring to the way of life of the commoner, including but not limited to food and cooking. The term has turned into a cliche of sort, sometimes overused and overemphasized, but no one is going to dodge the genuine yan bo qi at this market. Fengmen Hengjie is surrounded by communities where some old-timers have spent their entire lives. The market place itself is a kind of community, there are people who live above the shops, residents who sell from the vestibule of their homes, big brands that have been around for a century, seniors who sit on a bench and chat with one another as they watch over grandchildren and watch neighbors and strangers walk to and fro. Naturally, many such passers-by are shoppers, some with big hauls of the day's fresh catch and produce. You can find all the commonest daily necessities here. There are lots of meats, lots of aquatic products, grains, oils, and semi-finished products like bean curd, huge arrays of pickled and fermented fruits and seasonings, and definitely tons of vegetables. These are most indicative of the season. In particular, the colossal spring bamboo shoots stacked up like artillery shells. They are obviously a particular favorite among shoppers during this time of the year. If you enjoy shopping at wet markets, hit that like! See that red leaf vegetable? That is uh, Xiangchun, the uh, Chinese tune. It's a uh, very typical uh, spring vegetable. Uh, I enjoy it with uh, scrambled eggs. Um, other people just can't stand the uh, the peculiar aroma. So it's like a, a love it or hate it uh, kind of vegetable. Uh, which is why some people call this the uh, local durian. For lunch, I shall choose a spring food and there is no shortage of options. Spring rolls certainly sounds fitting for spring, but that's virtually available year-round and nationwide. This part of enticing red meat is jiang zhi rou, a type of shuzhou braised pork. I've read that this was used as ancestral offering, which is why this dish is chiefly found in spring in the months around Tomb Sweeping Bay. There is another type of offering that has turned into a springtime delicacy, one that is on the opposite side of the color wheel, the green gloves known as qing tuan. What's up guys? So I'm here at Fengmen Hengjie, the uh, cross street of uh, Feng Gate. Feng Gate is one of the uh, ancient city gates of Suzhou and uh, Fengmen Hengjie, just across the river, uh, is one of uh, Suzhou's um, uh, most uh, traditional uh, wet markets. So I came here today uh, looking for um, two things. Uh, actually, first, first of all is the uh, Qing Tuan. These little green balls, um, well actually that's what Qing Tuan means, like green dough balls. The greenness comes from um, wormwood juice. Wormwood is a plant traditionally associated with spring because of the green color. Uh, and then it's uh, turned into juice and mixed into dough to give it that characteristic um, green color. So I got a couple of flavors here. Um, I'm going to try... Um, of the sweet one. I have. I'm gonna try the roast. So you can see that greenness. Um, people say that uh, nowadays a lot of the shops they don't really use wormwood anymore. They use a lot of artificial coloring and. You know, maybe that's why um, that wormwood flavor or aroma isn't um, as prominent as I uh, remember from uh, some years ago. But uh, that's it. It's, it's still a um, pretty tasty treat that is, you know, especially associated associated with spring. So you can see here is red bean paste uh, with. Um, some uh, rose uh, scent, so very sweet, flowery, springy. Last year, we came here, we purchased from a shop called uh, Zhou Ji. Uh, it was recommended to us by uh, a local friend. Uh, and uh, en route, we saw 
these two uh, famous uh, shops, Zhou Ayu and Shen Ji, uh, they're next, uh, next to each other. They are probably the most famous um, Qinghuan stores here at Fengmen Hengjie. Uh, and uh, I came, you know, it's, it's, it's weekday, it's early, uh, and I uh, saw there weren't any lines at uh, Shen Ji or Zhou Ayu, so I just decided to buy some Qinghuan. Um, Shen Ji is probably the, the most famous one. Um, but one disadvantage is that um, for each flavor, you can only buy a fixed uh, number of them. Like uh, you have to buy them in, in sets of six or, or ten or something like that. So um, it doesn't give you um, that much flexibility. Uh, whereas Zhu uh, Ayi, uh, you can buy each flavor um, on a piece by piece basis. So uh, I decided to go next door to Zhu Ayi instead. It took quite some effort to swallow that bite. This solo picnic is far from over. I'll save the second half for a new video, but here's a little preview. So, enough with the carbs, let's get some protein. What I've got here is, you see, the brand Lao Tan Tou Bao Yu, right here. Oh, yeah. I have more Qingtuan and fried fish in subsequent videos. Remember to come back and see more of the awesome wet market Fengmen Hangjie. Zai jian!